This interview question comes from a subscriber, shout out to Ravindra, and the challenge is to build two lists with a button in between, and when you click on the button, the odd items from the left list swap spots with the odd items from the right list. All right, let's get started. I'm on flowstatecode.com and we are doing swap odds. Swap odds, as you saw in the beginning, click the button and the odds from one list switch with the odds from the other list. All right, you can go to YouTube from here and I'm gonna get started by making my editor pretty. All right, that's good enough. If you ever need to get back to the demo, you click that button. Cool. I'm gonna go to data.js and it looks like we have two arrays of strings and those are what I'm gonna be rendering out to the screen and they're already imported in app.js. So I know I'm gonna need a piece of state for both carts, cart A and cart B is what I'm gonna call them. Cart A set cart A equals use state. And I'm gonna initialize that with cart one. I'm basically gonna to do the same thing with cart two, but it's gonna be cart B and set cart B. Cool, now I have the data in state and I can play with it and it'll trigger re-change, or re-renders, re-renders, it'll trigger re-renders. So inside of page and flex, as you see, we already have some class names on here. If I go to styles.css, I see what those classes are doing. Flex is just a basic flex class. It's really nice to have. I usually make one. And then inside of here, I'm gonna build out the base of the component. So the whole component's gonna fit into there. And then I'm gonna want a cart. I know that I have a cart, a button, and a cart horizontally uh, aligned. So I'm just gonna go ahead and flex row those. So I'm gonna create the first cart, which does not exist yet, but it will soon. And then button, inside of the button, swap odds. And then I will have another cart. I'm fairly frustrated with this autocomplete in here, but it's okay. It's flow state coding. <laughs> We're flowing. No anger. Okay, cart.js. Const cart is going to be equal to. I actually don't know what it's going to take as props yet, but I do know I just want to return cart and make sure to export default cart. Now in app.js, import cart from dot slash cart, and we have a cart button and a cart. That's fairly similar to the overall layout that I want to see. And now we need to pass down items to cart. And this first cart is gonna get cart A as items. And the second cart is going to get cart B as the uh, prop. If we go back into cart, we know that we're taking items. And so I do want to create a div here. And let's close it off because this is really going to be the, let's put a class name. This is gonna be the cart border that you see in the info. These carts have a border. This is where that's gonna be. So let's go back to cart. Um, class name, cart container. It's probably a good class name for that. So dot cart container border solid black one pixel uh, probably won't see anything happening yet 
on cart container here's another reason why I like my flex class because I'm gonna put flex on there you should be flexing yeah okay I'm gonna put flex on there and then inside of this div I'm going to do items dot map item and we're, we're going to return from there. Let's just return item. See what that's given us. All right. On this flex, we want it to be flex direction of column. That's just for the cart container. So I will add that here. Uh, flex direction column. Oh, and I get mixed up when I go from React styling to CSS styling and remembering that those shouldn't be strings. And I'm a little bit curious as to why, ah, class name, flex. There we go. Now we're really close to a, a final product here. No, not really. And what we're going to do here is put a title on the cart. These carts have a little title up top. So inside of the cart, I'm going to add an H3. And it's going to have in here cart. And then I need like the cart number. Let's call it cart number cart number and it's going to be passed down as a prop cart number and then in app.js we need to pass down cart number and this one will just be one and the other one will be two there's a problem with cart cannot items items.map return item I don't think I messed anything up there did I I suppose I did let's refresh items.map oh yeah this needs to go up there all right that was just a little detour so now we have cart one, cart two, and the list underneath it. It looks like for the cart container, I should have some padding of 20 pixels. And that broke the whole class. There we go. And a border radius of 10 pixels. That looks pretty. Now to this div flex, uh, I'm just going to call it container. That is the thing wrapping everything. And container, um, I'm going to give it a gap of 20 pixels. That spaces it out really nicely. And app.js, in the button, I'm going to add a little bit of styling. So let's put a class name on it. Swap button and in styles.css dot swap button padding uh, maybe like 10 pixels I think that's getting us closer to the mock um, there's probably a little bit more padding on this cart that looks good 30 great it looks like we have everything rendered out um, and one thing I want to do is handle the underline underneath the cart title. So this is going to be cart title. I'm actually going to do a border bottom cart title border bottom of one pixel solid and black. Yeah, I like that. And in the cart container, I think I want to, is it justify content 
flex start. I always forget the alignment. Align items, flex start. There we go. And underneath the card title, maybe give a margin of five pixels. Oh, that's gonna give me not what I want. Margin bottom. Why is the cart title not applied to cart title? H3, it should push all the items down. I should wrap the items. No, I shouldn't. I like this so far. I think we're getting closer to the mock. And now in app.js, I need to handle clicking the swap button and then the odds swap. So const swap odds. It doesn't need to take anything, I don't think, right now. But what are we going to do here? We're going to loop and we're going to jump by two each time of, I think we only need to go over one cart. So let's kind of mock that out. Let's put I starting at zero. I is less than cart A dot length. And what are we going to do? We're going to do I plus equals two, two. And let's console.log cart A at I. And let's see what we get there. I'm gonna run this. We're getting an error on a key prop. Let's handle that right now, cause that could get annoying. Key. Uh, items.map index is fine. We'll put the index there. And in app.js, swap odds. We need to fire it off. That's a good idea. On click here, we're going to call swap odds. So when I click the button, we should get a console of something. Apples, grapes, pears. That's exactly what I wanted. Um, I want to actually mess with both carts <clears throat> when I do this. I'm going to spread cart uh, new cart A equals uh, an array and spread cart A into there. Do the same thing with cart B. So new cart B and then spread cart B into there. And then instead of doing this, what do I want to do? I want to set cart A. This would be new cart A at I. I want to set it equal to new cart B at I. And first we should save that new cart B, right? Const cart uh, old cart B equals, I don't need to because I have it in state. Right, I have it in state. So I could just do cart B at I and then new cart B at I is going to be equal to cart A at I. Oh, uh, do you think this is gonna work? Set cart A, new cart A, Set cart B, new cart B. Okay, let's click this button and see what we blew up. That is working, right? One, two, potatoes. If potatoes comes over here, kale comes over there. Hey, I truly nailed that algorithm on the first try. 
some things I'm seeing is that potatoes should have a, like all of those items should have a number in front of them. And I'm starting to feel like this item right here is its own component. So I'm going to create a new component called item and export. No, nah, let's not export it right away. I, don't, I just don't like that. Const item equals, it's going to take in an item. So I should put that. It's going to take in an item. And we're going to return for now. Let's just return a div with item in here. And in our cart, we can import item from dot slash item. And instead of a div, we're just going to have an item that will be self closing. And it will take an item of item. So we have the key item and I'm going to want to remember the index of it and I'll show you why. So in item, we're taking item and we're taking index and I need to export default item. Cool. Looks like we have stuff rendering in item. I now have this index. And that gives me my number. It looks like it's probably a small. So we'll put index inside of a small with a leading period. Cool. Um, style, I should put this in a class, but for now I'm just going to do this. Margin right. Uh, maybe three pixels. That gives that a nice little bit of spacing. And let's check out our mock up in the show instructions. Um, one thing I'm noticing is that the first letter of this string is always capitalized, whereas for us, it is not right now. So let's do that. Um, that would be an item that is where we are rendering this item right here. Okay. What we actually want to render is item at zero. No, 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 no. Item dot char at zero dot two upper case. And then we want to add item dot slice from one item dot char at chart at char chat at is that how it is char at oh by golly we've done it we've done it it looks pretty close to the mock um there's a couple other things, but for the most part, this is what should be done. You can see that. Um, oh, whoa, we would have failed this interview. You see, I was saying zero. We want index plus one. Now we have one, two, three. So one should swap with one. Three should swap with three. Five should swap with five. And it looks like everything is working. It's great. Thank you. Yo, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.